Alright, today I'm going to discuss the Spikes Tactical Battle Trigger Set Part Number SLA-01BT. This is the Nickel Boron Plated Kit that um, you can get as a upgrade to your standard um, hammer disconnector and trigger kit. Um, this is still the single stage uh, rounded hammer type trigger kit here. So this, I wouldn't call this a match grade kit or anything like that. Uh, for your money what you get is your nickel boron plated single stage uh, trigger, disconnector, spring, and a stainless steel pin and they kinda come pre-assembled like that. Um, there's another spring underneath that and your hammer and spring and another stainless steel pin so again you can tell this is the uh, rounded hammer uh, this is the GI type hammer this is not the notched kind of pre-band type hammer so um, now since these are nickel boron plated uh, I do believe uh, spikes sends these components to fail zero and fail zero does the plating of these four spikes um, that's kind of the unofficial word on the street um, that's not something I got directly from spikes that's just that's hearsay third-party information um, which does make sense to me since fail zero is kind of the company that pioneered the uh, nickel boron plating process from my understanding so, um, this type of kit provides a grit-free, reliable trigger pull. Um, Spike says the brake is between 5 to 9 pounds. On my particular rifle I have this trigger in, it's about 6 pounds. I did test it, it's about 6 pounds. Um, the springs are mil-spec. I believe the springs are provided by JP Enterprises, um, if I re recall correctly. Again, that's the word on the street. That's not official information from Spikes. The This kit ships with a set of hammer and trigger pins. Like I said, they're stainless steel with the black oxide finish. Um, the nickel boron plating, um, you're probably wondering, well, what's special about nickel boron? Well, the best that I can understand the nickel boron plating is it's like a permanent dry lubrication so in a situation where there is no uh, lubrication on these parts or it's filled with dirt or grit sand these parts will still reliably function in that type of environment I personally have not tested my nickel boron trigger hammer and disconnector in that type of situation so I can't say that it it does indeed work the way it's advertised. I'll have to leave that up to you to um, uh, do your own due diligence on on that um, um, the reliability of that plating technology. Now let's see um, oh, the other thing if you notice these are not uh, notched hammers these are standard uh, GI type hammers which is uh, a good thing. Um, my shooting experience with these, um, again, like I mentioned, um, mine breaks around six pounds. Uh, the take up doesn't have any creep, at least on my rifle that I'm using this on. There's, uh, you know, definitely no gritty feel to it. It's nice and smooth for a single stage trigger. Uh, I've had no issues with it. Um, I can't say I've ha I've used a lot of crappy triggers or disconnectors or hammers. I really haven't. I've 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 used you know pretty much all high quality stuff, so I'm kind of used to that. Um, I've used a lot of the standard spikes, hammer and, and trigger the, the phosphate coated ones, and these to me feel smoother. Um, that's just my opinion. I've noticed on some of these, sometimes the finish is is, is not really smooth. There, there's, there can be rough spart, 
uh, excuse me, rough parts. This particular kit I'm looking at here, everything on it is nice, nice and smooth. Of course, it's oily, so it's, uh, you know, this is not one that I would have to take a Dremel to and uh, uh, make adjustments to it. It's nice and smooth. Um, it's just it's the same type of, of kit I put in mine, my, my particular uh, AR, because um, I use the uh, Spikes Enhanced uh, Lower Parts Kit, and the Spikes Enhanced Lower Parts Kit comes with this same setup. So, I can't think of any other talking points. Um, I think this is a good value, uh, depending upon where you get this kit from. Uh, this kit could run you $80, $90, give or take, uh, in this market condition, uh, close to $100, shipping and tax maybe. Um, I think this is, is a very good buy for the money uh, if you're you know building your own rifle. Uh, but again, is the nickel boron, uh, you know, miles and miles ahead of the, the other standard finish. I, I can't comment on that. Um, I I just haven't used, uh, uh, I haven't used and abused a, a rifle in an environment where this plating would uh, be a significant advantage. So I'll leave that, to, leave that to you all to uh, determine if this is worth the extra money or not for your rifle build.